Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be using glass on dogs. So I've already done a test run, uh, she does work very well and yeah, let's get into it. So gear wise we have of course HP crit resistance on uh, Retona with resistance rolls here. She's got Retomio because she will get targeted for some reason, it just doesn't like her. The dogs just don't like her, so she's got Rotomio. Attack crit on Glass, we have attack crit on Freya and attack crit on Albedo. If I run HP defense on Albedo, she does patience on the first phase just a tiny bit, which is not what I want. And then for associations, we have uh, links, what, what gear they got on. We have HP defense on Tomiel, attack crit on Sariel, and the other two have HP defense as well. I could change... I'm probably going to change Margaret to attack crit, just because uh, more attack for Albedo, and also it means that she can actually take more damage. But Mara Link is actually quite useful. I th I'm pretty sure her account has used the Link. I'm not too sure. And then when it comes to uh, Cult Set, we have the Deer Cult Set, which of course gives us 10% basic stats, flat out. And then when we have Max Old Gauge, we can't be frozen, which is quite nice. And uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Before this video starts, you know 89.7% of you watching this channel are not subscribed. If you come back on the regular and you continually watch my content, why not support me? Subscribing is free and I really appreciate it. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Here we go. This should be quite easy. Of course, it is floor one. Uh, the only problem with this team is that, of course, because Tonar is an unknown, I don't get the extra 7% basic stats on these two. But I do get 20% basic stats from his relic because he includes uh, Ragnarok and unknowns. Of course, she has Ragnarok, so we do get the stats for that, which is quite nice. Um, I don't actually need to crit with her either, so I don't have to play the other skill. We'll, we'll see if she's going to damage cap turn one. Why am I attacking? Okay. So the reason I selected that dog is because on the second and third floor I have to select that dog. If not, tone, uh, the dog would just patience it. The white dog would just patience it. Turn one. Go on, big damage. Nice damage cap, nice. I feel like Glass is going to be one of those characters where like... She, I feel like the new... Well, I feel like all upcoming collaboration characters are always going to have this sort of like... They're always going to be able to hear damage cap on these demonic beasts. I know they're older, and technically, you know, I could test them on, like, Nidhogg, or, or, you know, the new squirrel. But the problem is with those demonic beasts, is they're very specialised demonic beasts, where these aren't really that specialised in comparison. Like, for example, if I was to, like, do dog, sorry, do the, the Nidhogg, it would be a much, a much more unpleasant experience. I'll move this girl as well, to get a little bit extra. Get one extra old gauge for her, why not? We get Freya's out here as well. Uh, Albedo's count should kill. I do actually want Albedo to take damage because that is a problem I actually had with my test run. So I, I, sometimes I do test runs for teams. I did for this team. And uh, Albedo just wasn't getting enough buffs because she wasn't taking any damage on floor 3. And I actually failed because of it. Like, no joke, I just couldn't get enough buffs because I kept killing it too quickly. Like, I do have 6-6 six, six Freya, which just doesn't help, really. Uh, death damage is kind of insane. Oh, actually, Mudge should go her or, get her as well. Okay, we are going to counter. Uh... I feel like, no, I don't I don't actually need to I'm trying to use my brain, it's not working. I don't actually need to worry about getting for I don't actually need to worry about keeping Freya's ult. Like, it's cool to keep, I just don't need it though. I can't kill, Albert will have to kill. Uh, which is completely fine, she was one shot anyway. Hopefully this doesn't have removed stances. I don't remember if this face has removed stances or not. Or well, this floor, sorry. No, this is infect. Lovely. And dead. Thank you. Also, a passive I had was like for every debuff, it did more attack and had like a million debuffs on me because of the previous phase where I got debuffed a lot. Anyway, th this is where like Glass is always really good because it gives everyone 30% basic stats. And because Albedo is a counter based character and she's an amplify counter character, insane damage. Uh, and we'll play Tonal's ult last. Play the counter first, then we ult with Glass. She nearly, that's 1 6, by the way. That, that is, that's insane for 1 6. I think it was Albedo wipes, but that's just Albedo. But yeah, like Glass is a very good character. On to floor 2 now. Floor 2 time! This also should be quite easy. Glass is very strong. I just feel like, in the current metal we've got, she ain't the best. I feel, I feel like that's the reason Fatoria is so good, but I do definitely feel like Fatoria is like miles better than Glass. But I always think we have that with collaborations. I feel like one character is always designed a little bit better than the others to sort of make them the better character. To make them more, like, wanted, I guess. But I feel like this collab was definitely one where they've, they've done it good. 
you know, all the old characters got a somewhat good buff, you know, Rotale had a part of a passive removed and now she's better, you know, never seen that before, and in Grand Cross they've actually removed Sight to make a character better. That wasn't damage cap. I think damage cap's 320k, 323k, something like that. That's fine. Doesn't bother me. Should've just good damage though. I am going to play the Tonar skills, or these two at least, because I do want to get some more basic stats for her. And of course, I give my team more HP related stats, which is also quite nice. So I can heal a little bit more. Do I play this? I'm going to play it and pray, because I do kind of want to kill this phase this turn. No, it should be fine. I had a problem where basically Freya just wasn't doing enough damage. His damage was just really bad for some reason. Still should be fine though. This should at least do damage cap now. Is 265 damage cap? And we don't kill! Okay, fair enough. His damage is horrible. He's a very old character, so maybe I should cover a little bit of slack at least. He's gonna stance up now. But it's fine. Or does, yeah, it should be this turn he stances up, I'm pretty sure. There we go. There's the stance. Go ahead and remove that. I'm actually gonna play this skill just to guarantee the kill. Uh, and then I'll just, I don't need to play anything else. It's good damage. And then snipe. There we go. That is damage cap. 265k is damage cap. This is it's good. She can hit damage cap after the first turn. It's stunts. Are you serious? Stunts cancel on my only stunts character. Fair enough. Um, I'm pretty sure I can just do this and kill. Because Albedo will have not only have the 30% base stats, she'll then get the crit damage, crit chance boost. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Albedo can kill with just this. That's damage cap, 318k. No, listen, 320... Okay, 323k. Yeah, Albedo's hitting so hard now with that basic stat boost. Because not only is she like a, a support, she, well not, she's not only a DPS, she's also got a support ultimate, which is it's really nice to see. It's like Echidna. When Echidna dropped her ultimate, insane support for each player ultimate, and that's what Glass has. I do feel like it's kind of needed. I lost every buff, okay. Um, We will do this. I'm then going to do this, this, and then play the gloss skill at the end, so hopefully we, we then get the buff. The pace rate buff is what I mean. That's damage cap. It's damage cap. Got attack rally stat boost now. Nice, and we kill the black dog, which is good, because he's the one that does all the debuffs, which is slightly irritating. That's just the white dog left. He has AoE spam, though. It's the only problem with this one. But because we have Freya, who basically gives you complete immunity to Ignites, he's completely useless. Because passively, uh, this dog normally has, like, Kyo. Like, it's like a Kyo passive, basically. If you don't know what Kyo does, he's quite an odd character, but he used to just passively apply uh, Ignite debuffs onto you. It's two per character, but then one character gets, one enemy gets four uh, because of his relic. They get an extra two. But yeah, that is floor two done once again, carried by Albedo. But to be honest, that's kind of standard. On to floor three now, that's where the problem might start. Okay, now we're on to the most painful floor, which is of course floor three. Let's see how this goes. My test run didn't go the best, but that is because of this man here and the fact that I sort of sped run the second phase, which is sort of what you want to do. I think maybe I should stall on the first phase a little longer because the second phase has got uh, like infect and defense slower and I kind of just don't want to deal with that so maybe I just sort of s save my ults for that phase and just wipe it but like stall on this phase a little bit longer. The problem is Gloss isn't very good at stalling because he just does too much damage <laughs> which is it's not really the biggest problem but you know. I'll just turn one. Passive counter is a uh, passive taunt's insane. I love it. 50% damage reduction. Very nice. Of course, it was to combat. Who, who was she to combat? I think she was to combat Demon King at the time. That's damage cap, uh, which is insane. That explains why that skill didn't hit damage cap, because I didn't have any of the stacks. Ah. Now I understand. Yeah, attack Albedo, please. I actually want them to attack Albedo. Um. I'm going to do this, this, because I don't want to kill it, because I know if I kill it, uh, god damn it, we're, okay, we're going to do it this way, because then at least if I kill it, I get both their ults, and then we'll just move Albedo skill, because I don't want to kill it, but I'm scared Glass is now just going to go absolute sicko mode and just nearly kill it. Uh, okay, Freya, please don't kill. Please do like no damage. 
Goodness sake. Okay. Now, this is not what I wanted. I was always going to get frozen because she's the only one. Well, okay. She got, she got dissolved instead, of course. She got. <laughs> Typical. Um, I just don't want uh, her getting frozen, really. If I kill it, I don't lose the old gauge because I technically have killed it. So we do this. Uh, that's why I hope it works, at least. <laughs> Either I'm just major coping. That is damage cap, I'm pretty sure. Unless it's not. Okay, maybe it's not. No, it is. It is. Yeah, 351, okay, nice. And we didn't lose the old gauge for Albedo. Because that was the problem last time, is I just lost, um... Lost, like, so many buffs with her, basically. Do they just passively eat every buff I add? Like, what's going on? I'm not going to play Albedo's ult, because if I play Albedo's ult, I then get diseases. Uh, I can get frozen, basically. I don't know why I said diseases. <laughs> I just didn't know what to, I didn't know what it was called, so I just said diseases because that's basically all debuffs are. I got pace rate boost already. Go on, gloss. Should the attack rate stat boost now? No, we do have Albedo's counter. Albedo's got max ult gauge, which is sort of the reason why I didn't want to use her ultimate. It's because she would have got frozen then. Th that was the uh, oh, she got stance cancelled. I forgot they can do that. Oh no, and I lost my toner ult. That's co destruction, so that's not gonna hit too hard. On, no, I'm scared of that one though. Even though that's like Blaze, which is like more damage per. Is that Blaze? It's like, yeah, that does a lot of damage even without the actual effect. Okay, she's gonna have like. I'll do this, and then I'm gonna play this. Then we play this because I do really want to try and do either a lot of damage to the Black Dog or kill it, because he's the one that's gonna provide all the debuffs, which is not really what I want to have to deal with. Toner might die, but that's just unfortunately what might happen. That's not damage cap, I'm pretty sure. That's pretty low if it is. No, that, that looks more like damage cap. Okay, Freya got frozen, that's fine. Whatever. Don't you dare remove her stance again. Bloody hell, man. <laughs> it's fine, I've got both their ultimates. I can just gloss ult. Okay, she might die. Oh, crit her, man. Yeah, it's an unfortunate thing with this team. Bleed, poison, fair enough. Uh, we start up with Albedo, we then ult, and then we ult again. It's the- yeah, I just feel like probably Fatoria's probably better here, because Fatoria's just uh, got that insane AoE damage. Like, she has so many things boosting her stats, where Glass only really increases her pierce rate, and one of her skills hits damage cap. Like, this skill is good, but you kind of want to have, like, higher stats. Now nah, Albedo's hitting harder, because the Black Dog isn't removing my buffs every other turn. That's still doing a lot of damage to me now. But, yeah, we killed. Is she good for dogs? She's okay, but I would still say, like, stick with Vittoria. Like, Vittoria is so much better, but I feel like that's because Vittoria is, like, I feel like she was the more polished character out of the two, for just general usage. Glass is not too bad, though. Her single target damage is quite good. Her soul power skill is, like, quite mediocre, but her pierce rate skill, once again, is just going to hit damage cover every turn, because she's got a lot of pierce rate, about close to, like, 300, maybe 400%. So her, you know, with triple pierce, she's looking at 900 to 1,200 pierce rate, which is insane amounts of pierce rate. Way higher than Rimuru, uh, which is, yeah, good. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.